Good day everyone, this is Luisa Atala of Natural TV. Healthcare services such as doctors make up a very large part of global economy. He is a wealth of experience to heal and help us. It's our pride to have you in our program, empowering the people to improve their lives, to talk about diabetes, no other than Professor Dr. Sardar Gular, Professor of Endocrinology. Good day, sir. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, too. Yes. Now, I will begin already the question and answer for you so that you will have a vivid uh, view of uh, what is diabetes. Uh, doctor, what is diabetes? Diabetes is a complex problem, mm -hmm. but mainly it's the name of having a high blood glucose, high blood sugar, sugar. levels. Mm -hmm. uh, high blood sugar means you cannot easily transfer your sugar from the blood to the cells where mm -hmm. it's at the major fuel mm -hmm. of whole body in the, especially the brain mm -hmm. uh, sometimes brain consumes about 50 percent of whole energy of the body okay. uh, and this energy mainly comes from glucose the sugar. sugar sugar is very very important but it must be at the specific place inside the cell to be a fuel mm. for that cell. Uh, any problem that leads to late entry of glucose, the sugar from mm -hmm. blood to cell, causes diabetes mellitus. In this condition, blood becomes deprived of energy. Oh. Indeed, there is energy, but not in the proper place. It must be in the cell, but not in the cell, in the circulation. Uh, and in this problem, we try to uh, place mm -hmm. glucose to proper places. Uh, it's really very important. Having diabetes is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the symptoms of diabetes? When your blood sugar increases, uh, you may have thirst, increase in thirst, thirst sensation. You feel thirsty. You want to drink more water. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of high blood glucose, high blood sugar, you go to uh, bathroom frequently, you urinate frequently, mm -hmm. urination becomes frequent and excessive. Mm -hmm. uh, this is due to uh, loss of uh, sugar and with it some water. Mm -hmm. Thus the patient loses water and becomes more thirstier mm -hmm. than, and loses weight. Because the cells do not gain enough sugar and loses energy. Okay. Thus, you lose weight, you have, feel thirsty, you uh, drink lots of water, okay. and you go to urinate frequently, okay. even at night times. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some sub subtle symptoms may also occur. Uh, what do I mean with that? Uh, because of increased blood glucose levels, mm -hmm. people get infected more frequently mm -hmm. and cannot be healed easily. Because of this, infections may be frequent. Itching of several sites mm -hmm. may be frequent. In especially women, uh, urinary tract infections may be mm -hmm. more frequent. Uh, these are major symptoms. If the patient is a child, Mm -hmm. uh, he or she may also be growth retarded if not uh -huh. uh, treated accordingly treated. because of lack of energy. How about the pregnant women? In pregnant women, mm -hmm. we have indeed two categories. Okay. One may be a diabetic patient, mm -hmm. a non diabetic patient may be pregnant. The other time, the patient is not actually diabetic, uh -huh. she has pregnancy and has diabetes due to pregnancy. These are two different mm -hmm. factors, but if someone is pregnant and has diabetes, uh, this has significant consequences on the fetus. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, the fetus generally enlarges more mm -hmm. than usual, and this uh, causes severe problems during the delivery period, mm -hmm and after the delivery period. This is especially uh, serious for both the infant, the newborn, 
and the, pa the uh, patient, mother. the mother. Okay. And both may be needed to be taken care of intensively mm. during and after labor. Because of this, diagnosing diabetes in pregnancy is extremely important. Mm. And the uh, blood glucose levels uh, must be kept almost in normal levels yes. during this period. In general, we do not uh, treat other patients in these strict levels. Okay. But in pregnancy, we have to lower blood glucose extremely to prevent the fetus and the mother. So diabetes is also genetics, doctor? Yes. Uh, indeed, we have two types of No, what are the two types diabetes, of diabetes? Uh, type 1 and type 2. Uh, let me show in a view here. Okay. Uh, here we see, in the first line, Mm -hmm. We see normal glucose metabolism. In the left side, you have a healthy pancreas, which produces insulin. Insulin yes. is the hormone that moves glucose, the mm -hmm. sugar, from the bloodstream to the cell. Okay. Without insulin, this movement cannot occur and cells may be deprived of the fuel, okay. the main fuel, glucose. In the first line, you see a healthy pancreas mm -hmm. that secretes good amount of insulin, and the right side you see the cell, the insulin goes to the cell and opens the, lets the cell respond to glucose, thus oh. taking glucose inside and doing whatever necessary with mm -hmm. it. In the second line, in the middle line, you see <coughs> type 1 diabetics. In type 1 diabetes, the insulin producing cells of the pancreas are depleted almost none cells exist, thus the body cannot produce insulin. insulin. Because of right. this lack, uh, body cannot uh, transfer glucose from blood to cell. Mm -hmm. uh, in this type of patient, you have to use insulin treatment, mm -hmm. just insulin. Insulin is very essential uh, and it is necessary for survival. Uh, insulin is found in 1921. Because before that year, mm -hmm. uh, having a diagnosis of type 1 diabetes was almost equal to having a death sentence within six months. Mm -hmm. It's a very uh, problematic disease if you don't have insulin. But thanks God, they have found uh, yes. insulin in 1921 and nowadays we can find plenty of insulin, lots of types of insulins and the patients do not die. Okay. Insulin is very, very important, as has deserved five Nobel Prizes, oh. discovery and development yes, of yes. insulin, and uh, it has the honor mm -hmm. to have this Nobel Prize. And but type one diabetes is seen uh, consists of uh, comprises about five to ten percent of all diabetic patients. Mm -hmm. Most of the patients have type two diabetes. What do have in that? The third line. Uh, pancreas produces insulin, okay. but there is resistance to the effect of insulin. The cells do not respond well to that oh, insulin. This is insulin resistance. Yeah. And uh, with time, the pancreas also cannot produce enough insulin to override that insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. uh, so it can easily be understood that in the second type, we can use some medicines to increase this insulin sensitivity mm -hmm. and to increase the secretion of pancreas. Okay. As you see, in type 1, we don't have the ability to use especially insulin secreting yeah. agents because mm -hmm. insulin secreting mechanism is not over there. The okay. pancreas lacks of the cells mm -hmm. producing insulin. Thus, we have to use insulin. But in type 2 diabetes, we can use several medicines, oral medicines, yes, to oral decrease medicines. blood glucose. Oh. But if, for example, doctor, are you taking already insulin? Is this of, for a long treatment? Do you still use uh, thoroughly the, the, what do you call this, the insulin? Uh, insulin treatment is mandatory in type uh, 1, mandatory. but sometimes necessary in type 2 diabetes. Oh. With time, type 2 diabetic patients do lose the power of producing insulin. Mm -hmm. Their pancreas also uh, loses insulin secreting cells mm -hmm. and 
particularly after 10 years, mm -hmm. most of the beta cells, the insulin secreting stem cells of pancreas have been lost and they may also need insulin. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in spe there are some specific conditions we have to use insulin instead of oral antidiabetics. Mm -hmm. For example, the patient may need an emergency surgery. Oh. For example, he, he or he may have acute appendicitis, yes. appendix inflammation, and uh, she may need uh, acute surgery. Or some heart surgery, open heart surgery, which is a major surgery. Okay. At these times, using insulin is simpler and more effective than using uh, oral, oral medications. Mm -hmm. Yes. And sometimes uh, patients may get infected. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes these infections may be severe, thus we have to use insulin instead of oral medications. These are conditions of using temporary okay. insulin. But type 1 patients lead whole lifelong insulin mm -hmm. treatment and type 2 diabetic patients after a certain period of time may need it temporarily. But mm -hmm. uh, in type 2, uh, de depends on the patient. Mm -hmm. We may use insulin temporarily or continuously. Okay. What are the complications of diabetes, doctor? Uh, indeed, uh, before complications, I must admit that diabetes is a very frequent problem. Mm -hmm. Diabetes is seen very frequently uh, in all over the world, including the Africa. Uh, in some patients, as you can see mm -hmm. in this part, uh, I may summarize this. If the color you see is darker, that means you have more diabetes. Oh. The lower ones either did not do any studies about that or have lower no amounts word. of diabetes. As you can see in some parts, in the central parts, in the uh, southern part and western part of Africa, there are some increased levels mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. uh, diabetes. Uh, this is very important. Diabetes is a frequent disease. Yes. It's frequently uh, in everywhere. Mm -hmm. also in Turkey and other countries. And uh, one important thing is it's not gender specific. Mm -hmm. It affects both women and men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, All genders are affected equally. And there's also specifically better. The risk increases by age. As you get mm -hmm. older, you have a higher risk of having oh. diabetes. Because uh, nowadays, doctor, even young people have diabetes, right? Yes, yes. Particularly type 2 diabetes. Uh -huh. Let me talk about type 2 diabetes one more. We generally say that diabetes, type 2 diabetes, develops in patients who are prone to it. Mm -hmm. What this means? This means if your parents, if your yeah. father and or mother has diabetes, you have a greater risk Ooh. for diabetes. Diabetes is develops in this. If, especially, he or she does not take of, care of it. Mm. What does this mean? If the environmental factors also play any, uh, uh, a role. Mm. What are those environmental factors? Mainly exercise and diet. If a total of this. One gets fat, one gets weight, uh, he or she has increased risk of developing diabetes. In summary, if your father and or mother has diabetes mm -hmm. and you eat more, more and do not exercise, you have a very high likelihood of di developing diabetes. For example, if you don't, your mo mother and father don't have diabetes, Yes. Uh, and you take care of yourself, you exercise and take care of whatever mm -hmm. you eat. You may not develop diabetes during whole life, whole your life. Oh. If your father and mother has diabetes, you have an increased risk. For example, if you uh, exercise regularly and regularly diet, mm -hmm. let's say you will have diabetes at age of 60. Oh. If you do not take care of the diet and do not exercise, mm -hmm. you may have this diabetes at, for example, age of 30 instead of at, 60. At a very young age. Yes. Yeah. In my residency, 
which began mm -hmm. in 1990s, mm -hmm. the definition of type 2 diabetes included, it is generally seen after 40 years of age. Ooh. Nowadays, people are getting fatter at earlier ages, even childhood. Mm -hmm. Because of this, we are currently seeing type 2 diabetic patients in childhood age, before age of 30, 18. Mm -hmm. At 12, at very 13, young age. Yes. yes. We usually see, uh, have encountered type 2 diabetes after 40 years of age. Nowadays, mm -hmm. we can see it at about 10, 12, yes. 13. Yes. This is also very important. Is it because of the food they eat? Yes, and because of the food and lack of Lifestyle. exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, these are very important, uh, especially in prevention. For patients, who have diabetes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the best legacy for their children is making them move, always move, have exercise, and do not eat too much food. Mm -hmm. uh, please tell your children, grandchildren, do exercise and do not eat much. This way, your children or grandchildren will not be affected. Mm -hmm. This is the main prevention of diabetes. Okay. Uh, the parents have a significant role in this one. Besides parents, especially primary school children, uh, prim sorry, primary school teachers have a very important role. Education. Yes, yeah. they can easily uh, teach, teach their children uh, about exercise and diet. This is very important. Mm -hmm. And the children they teach go to their homes and teach their parents. Their <laughs> yes, this, yes, this is very, very effective, cheap uh, and easy method. Okay. Uh, is it true, doctor, that, for example, you don't have diabetes and you eat too much sweets, but you don't eat carbo, rice, and uh, mm -hmm. what do you call this, this pasta, but you are very into eating of sweets? You, will you acquire diabetes? Uh, this doesn't increase indeed the risk uh, if you don't get weight, but this is an uh, inappropriate way of uh, eating habit mm -hmm. because the diet might uh, be uh, compartmentalized. Mm -hmm. you, you, but it, indeed, your body does not need any sweets. What uh, is a very efficient mechanism? Whatever you eat, body converts it to glucose. Body converts yeah. it to sugars. Whatever you eat, whatever, it does yes. not matter. Thus, one can burn and eat no sugar and has no problem. Mm -hmm. No problem. But proteins are not so. There are essential proteins you have to take. There are some lipids you have to take. Mm -hmm. This is very important. But eating too much glucose does not per se uh, okay. induce diabetes. But it's not a healthy way of uh, yes. eating. The rice, you, you it's a carb. To, yeah, you have to eat <laughs> all of the sugar and uh, uh, some known amounts. Mm -hmm. Basic food, basic meal must, oh. must consist of always vegetables. Mm -hmm. What are the complications if you have diabetes, doctor? Uh, we have acute and chronic complications of diabetes. Mm -hmm. Before the inter uh, invention of insulin, mm -hmm. We have seen acute complications, uh, comas related to hyperglycemia, mm -hmm. low, uh, higher blood glucose levels, and sometimes low blood glucose levels. But these are acute complications and are dealt when necessary. Mm -hmm. We mainly deal on chronic complications. After invention of insulin and several other medicines, mm -hmm. these diabetic patients began to survive. They didn't die. Mm -hmm. And they survived to older ages. With this we have become we have began to see chronic complications mm -hmm. and found that uh, their eyes have been affected more mm -hmm. frequently blindness the vision. yes yeah. blindness uh, in all over the world the major yeah, cause mm -hmm. of blindness is diabetes high blood glucose these diabetic patients if not treated regularly have more frequent attacks of uh, brain problems, such as 
cerebrovascular accident, accidents, mm -hmm. strokes, they have become paralyzed uh, more than their uh, friends mm -hmm. who do not have diabetes. They also have more uh, myocardial infarction attacks, more heart conditions, mm -hmm. heart and brain conditions, strokes and myocardial infarctions are the main causes of death because mm -hmm. of this. They have increased four times increased risk of having stroke and myocardial infarction problems. Mm -hmm. Besides this, it also affects kidneys. Kidneys, yes. yes. Uh, in transplantation departments and uh, hemodialysis departments, yes. which are artificial kidney problems, uh, almost 30% of the patients are mm -hmm. diabetic patients. Diabetes increases this one too. Also, uh, other uh, vessel problems, artery problems, right. atherosclerotic problems may cause uh, amputation of extremities yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, after accidents, diabetes is the major cause of uh, amputation uh, for especially mm -hmm. lower extremities. Mm -hmm. When we look at this, we see that diabetes affects every place every, yeah. in body in worse conditions. When, if you're not, you are not treated well, okay. there are several treatment options. We have several medicines uh, for this, and diabetes is a treatable disease. Mm -hmm. It's not curable. What this is, curable means you treat something and it goes away. Yes, yes we can not cure, but we can treat diabetes. Mm -hmm. We can treat and prevent complications of diabetes. Mm -hmm. For this, every diabetic patient must be in good follow-up with their physicians, mm -hmm. sometimes online consultations are also possible. Okay. After this time, there are several methods of online consultations, mm -hmm. especially using the internet. Uh, having a diabetes in your uh, diabetic doctor, diabetes doctor in mm -hmm. your region, and maybe in another region by online consultations, will be very, very effective mm -hmm. for your treatment. Now, Days we have that. Forty years ago, we do not have, we did not have this yes. option. There were not so yet, um, enough doctors in anywhere in the world, and there were enough facilities, and there was no internet. Mm -hmm. Internet mm -hmm. wasn't yes. that exists forty years Very ago. True. But nowadays we have several options for us. We also have several medicines. We have insulin. Yes. We have lots of drugs to use, and lots of doctors yes. everywhere in uh, many places of Africa uh -huh. and we can uh, reach other doctors through several mechanisms, particular mm -hmm. internet uh, nowadays. Does uh, diabetes also affect the hearing of a person? Not so much, ah, but okay. there's also an increased risk of hearing problems too. Okay. Not so much, but uh, the risk somewhat increases mm -hmm. in diabetes too. How about those uh, doctor, th those who smoke, smokers? Smoking is an uh, independent risk factor for almost everything. Yes. Thus, uh, diabetes indeed is a risk factor for cardiovascular diseases. Mm -hmm. Smoking is another factor for this. If a diabetic patient, if someone has diabetes, mm -hmm. he is in increased risk of having myocardial infarctions and strokes. Mm -hmm. And if that smokes, the risk doubles. Oh. Thus, we cannot recommend anyone to smoke, but especially for diabetic patients, do not yes. smoke. Because that's why there are many complications. Yes. Mm. So how do we treat that? In, we, if we sum it all, how do we prevent diabetes? Uh, prevention is easy. Don't gain weight. Be Diet. lean. Be lean. Always take care of whatever you are eating and always move. Some, somewhat move. Uh -huh. Walk, run, do any exercise you want. Uh, I personally recommend when we talk about exercise, mm -hmm. people in Turkey or UK, people always say that, oh, I go to gym. You mm -hmm. do not need gym. You take yes. off, take on show, your shoes, go away, walk Grace away. Walking. Yes, yeah. <laughs> walk anywhere you want, uh -huh. anytime you want. This is the easiest, cheapest and effective way of 
having exercise. Yes. Do, you do not have gym. Yes, you may not go to gym and do several other things over there, mm -hmm. but this is not mandatory. Please mm -hmm. move. Whatever you do, but please move. Don't mm -hmm. sit. Don't sit. And do not eat. Do not eat much. <laughs> Diet. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is, this is uh, very, very important. Oh, okay. Uh, what are your uh, lifestyle changes in a uh, we know that there are plenty of drugs now, oral treatment, right, yes, doctor, yes. aside from the insulin? We may summarize treatment very yes. easily. Education is very important. It's true. Education is very important. I do not have diabetes, but mm. I know what diabetes is and how to treat diabetes. If someone has diabetes, okay. I think he must know diabetes better than I know, because I don't have it. Uh, if someone has diabetes and knows what diabetes is, what, what can be done? He or she can easily manage everything. Mm -hmm. Diabetes treatment is somewhat complex. Because of this, if he knows what diabetes is, he can easily uh, do what is necessary. Okay. What is necessary? Lifestyle changes, mainly diet and exercise. We have talked about it <laughs> yes. lots of time in this speech. Other than that, but you see in the list, the first time, education. Second time, second line, diet. Lives. Third line, exercise. We come at the fourth place. Doctors come at the fourth place. Uh -huh. Yes. Why? Because our drugs do operate who diet and exercise. Okay. If yes. they are not educated, if they do not uh, make good diet plans or do not exercise, mm -hmm. Our drugs do not work so well. If they do this, they do efficient, very, very good. Well, they do very, very good jobs. Everyone also must be in follow-up. Average doctor visit must be at least three months for mm -hmm. people who are doing well, who have no symptoms, who have no problems. Even the blood test? Yes, mm -hmm. blood tests and several other things. Uh, because as we speak, mm -hmm. diabetes affects every part of the body. Thus, we do not only look at the blood glucose. In the blood glucose, in the very small thing we look mm -hmm. in a diabetic patient. We look for blood lipids, blood pressure, condition of heart, condition of kidney, mm -hmm. condition of everywhere. Even because the liver. Everywhere, <laughs> even the liver. Uh, thus, regular follow-up is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Sir Jocelyn is a very important okay. name in the field of diabetes, uh, lived long ago, and said that uh, diabetes treatment is throw, like throwing er an arrow to a target. Mm -hmm. But the target is uh, continuously moving. Uh, Sir Justin properly said that treating, treatment of diabetes is throwing an arrow to a moving target. Yeah. It just That's says, doctor, that it is also a lifelong condition. Lifelong condition. What you decide on today uh -huh. is the decision of today, not tomorrow. So we don't know what mm -hmm. will happen tomorrow. Because of that, these patients might be on uh, continuous and regular mm -hmm. follow up we have lots of medicines. Here's a chart that shows how to use medicines. Okay. Metformin is a very, very classical yes. drug. And it's a very effective drug and king of the treatment. Mm -hmm. Metformin is indicated in every type 2 diabetic patients. Mm -hmm. But in some, we cannot use metformin. Thus, the main indication of metformin is every diabetic patient if not contraindicated. Everyone must use metformin. Then we have several other medicines, oral medications, insulins, and mm -hmm. other injectable, which are very effective mm -hmm. and are uh, adjusted according to the needs of the, the patient. specific yeah. patient. What does this mean? Let's take 100 patients okay. over here. All will take metformin if not contraindicated. Okay, uh, at least 90, 99 of them will take this medicine. Mm -hmm. In whom metformin cannot be given? In severe heart conditions, in severe heart mm -hmm. failure or kidney failure or 
things like that. You cannot use metformin. So we cannot use metformin for a long time because yes, yeah, oh, yes, okay. if possible, lifelong because it's a very very important and valuable, very priceful drug, mm -hmm. very good drug. Thus, metformin is the main stay of treatment. Mm -hmm. Because of this, every guideline says. Do use metformin, do begin to use metformin and continue it for mm -hmm. lifelong, if possible. Uh, if possible. Okay. And almost all, in almost all patients, it is possible if he or she does not have the severe heart or uh, kidney condition. Uh, the major use of other medicines is important. Mm -hmm. All other medicines have important effects and important side effects. Yeah. And besides this, they have also some drug interactions. Mm -hmm. If you use two medicines, they have, both have mm -hmm. effects and side effects. But besides this, mm -hmm. they also interfere with each other too. If there is three drugs, the interference may be much more important. Oh, okay. Because of it, using the drugs is very, very important. So if you're maintaining your, your oral treatment like metformin, you have to change it after a few months or what? Yes. We see the patients every few months then and uh, manage uh, her blood glucose, blood pressure, blood lipids, mm -hmm. heart, vein, whatever condition, and then change. adjust the treatment regularly. Here's a simple list of some mm -hmm. drugs we use. Their effects, side effects, uh, prices, lots of mm -hmm. uh, problems here. This is a complex thing, and a patient cannot do this if uh, he is not a do medical doctor. This is very important, and it is very easy nowadays. It is very cheap nowadays. Please visit your doctors. They know what medicines are right for you, what mm -hmm. medicines are not right for you. And this doctor will look after you, look after your heart, kidney, liver, mm -hmm. etc., then look at the drugs. Mm. She will say, this drug is important for this one. This may harm yeah, the patient. Yeah, yeah. This one will be very good. This one will be very good. And choose appropriate medicines for you. What are appropriate medicines? That will lower your blood glucose. That will lower mm. your risk of myocardial infarction, uh, stroke problems. That will help to regulate your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. That will help to decrease your lipid levels and will make you happy. Okay. And will not have significant side effects and if possible will be cheap. Okay. A medicine, medical doctor will do this okay. and continuously. Okay. So we'll pause and we'll look back for a... Okay. Uh, uh, doctor, for the message for the people who work, could they contact you? Uh, my main message is uh, take care of your diabetes yeah. very good. Please rely on diet and exercise. Okay. They, their effect is much bigger than any medicine in the world. Okay. And our medicines work if you diet and exercise regularly. And for patients who have diabetes, please take care of your children and grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Make them exercise and strictly rely on diet. Mm -hmm. If you do this, they will also copy yeah, you. True. If you don't do this, they will say, oh, shame on you. You say this and don't do this. Okay. So, doctor, in behalf of all the natural TV management, we would like to thank you for gracing our program and fall in love in taking care of yourself. It is never too late to start your living well. And this is Luis Atala saying good day, everyone.